This book is called A Boy is a Boy. It was written by Ogden Nash, and the illustrations are by Arthur Shulstone. The subtitle for this book is The Fun of Being a Boy. And there are all kinds of boys in the world, and there are all kinds of dogs. But this is a story about this boy and this dog. And almost all of the work in the story to describe a boy is done by the dog. So a boy is a boy from a dog's perspective. Ogden Nash, the author of this book, was born in 1902 and lived for a big chunk of the 20th century. He was uh, a very well-loved uh, author who people looked to for humor and little light jokes and verses that made them laugh. This book is funny in parts, but it's really a meditation on what it means to be a boy in the eyes of a puppy dog. A boy is a boy. There was once a dog. He was really just a pup, but he planned to be a dog when he grew up. He was black and white, and his name was Spot, which many more puppies are named than not. His master was a boy named Tim. It was him for Tim and Tim for him. They had never, never, never been apart, these two. They went together like a sock and a shoe, or a hand and a mitten, or a saucer and a cup. Yes, they went together like a boy and a pup. But Tim one day, with time to spend, decided to tease his faithful friend. I hate to tell you what Tim did. He ran away and hid. At first, poor Spot, when left alone, just drooped like a melting ice cream cone. Then he found some water to take a drink of and began to sniff everywhere he could think of. He was so enthusiastic, as puppies are, that he finally followed his nose too far, and before he knew it, he was lost for good, deep in the middle of a wild, wild wood. He stopped, and he peered around uneasily, and he saw a weasel looking very weaselly. Its teeth were whitish, and its eyes were pinky, and its snaky body was sleek and slinky. It regarded Spot as a tasty bit, and Spot was glad he was bigger than it. Ahoy, said the puppy. Weasel, ahoy, I I'm looking for a boy. Have you seen a boy? Boy, said the weasel. That's a funny word. It's the funniest word that I have ever heard. And he tried to give a friendly smile, but it came out scary, weasel style. Boy, said the weasel. Boy? 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 Is it something to eat or a kind of toy? Is it anything a weasel might enjoy? What on earth is a boy? Said Spot. It is easy to spot a boy. He's a mixture of mud and corduroy. When splashy puddles are on the ground, he'd rather walk through them than around. One of his shoes has a broken lace, and he uses a towel to wash his face. He knows that walls are made to climb on, to regain your balance just in time on. And when people shudder and call out, Don't! You will break your neck! He replies, I won't. He can throw a ball for me to catch, and he opens the door when he hears me scratch. And when nobody's looking, he's often able to smuggle me tidbits under the table. So that's a boy, the weasel sneered, and he sneered again as he disappeared. Just a game you pass the time of day with. Mm, just a silly something for a pup to play with. Pish, said the weasel. Pish tush to you, and P S H A W two, pisha. Who cares for a measly weasel? Said Spot, and off he went at a sideways trot. Yes, 
He trotted sideways as he'd been taught, and he came across a woodchuck deep in thought. Ahoy there, woodchuck, he cried. Ahoy, I'm looking for a boy. Have you seen a boy? Oh, dear, moaned the woodchuck, balancing a stick. You've scrambled all my arithmetic, or I would have figured out with a little luck how much wood would a woodchuck chuck, if a woodchuck could chuck wood, I mean, and chucked all day like a chucking machine. Sir, said Spot, <clears throat> I I'm sorry to annoy, but I've lost a boy. Have you seen a boy? Boy, said the woodchuck, that's a funny word. It's the funniest word that I ever heard. And sucking out the honey from some honeysuckle, the woodchuck chortled a woodchuck chuckle. Boy, said the woodchuck, boy, 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 is it like a garden that I might destroy, or anything a chuck would chuck with joy? What on earth is a boy? Said Spot, it's easy to spot a boy. He's covered with smells that I enjoy. He smells of licorice, he smells of mice, of mercurochrome, and vanilla ice, of footballs, mothballs, rabbits, and rope. And once in a while, he smells of soap. He can make a tent of the living room rugs, which is lit by a bottle full of lightning bugs. He can carve his name on the front porch rail and spend all morning timing a snail. And when grown-ups plead the agonized plea, Take that snake outside, he says. Who, me? He never closes the door behind him, and I wish you'd tell me where to find him. The woodchuck's eyes grew round and big, and he placed a twig on another twig. I wonder, said he with a thoughtful cluck, just how much wood a boy would chuck. If he should chuck, could chuck, would chuck wood. If a boy chuck, could chuck wood. In return for your chuck, 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 Spot said, I'll chuck another riddle at your chuckable head. If a foghorn overjoys an oyster, what kind of a noise annoys an oyster? He departed quickly, and he didn't stop till he spied a squirrel on a tall treetop. Ahoy there, squirrel, cried Spot. Ahoy, I'm looking for a boy. Have you seen a boy? Boy, said the squirrel. That's a funny word. It's the funniest word that I ever heard. It's funnier than blubber, funnier than skink. It's funnier than bobbling, spink, spank, spink. Or pumpernickel, snorkel, snickersnee, or poi. Boy, said the squirrel. Boy, 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 what on earth is a boy? Since a boy, said Spot, is strange to you, hark while I give you a puppy's eye view. He damages himself in bits and snatches. His legs are a maze of cuts and scratches. He treats his bike like a high trapeze, which accounts for the scabs upon his knees. He thought he could seesaw all alone. <laughs> That's the bruise on his funny bone. And the bump on his brow comes from being imprudent. He tried to jump over a fence and couldn't. But you needn't think by any chance that he's ready yet for the ambulance. When the evening sun has left the sky, he's as healthy as ever, and twice as spry. He is Superman, with the world in his pocket. He is riding through space in a roaring rocket. He's a will-o'-the-wisp. He's a small tornado. He's a U.S. Marshal, cleaning up Laredo. Well, chirped the squirrel from the topmost bough. If that's a boy, here comes one now. 
Spot's ears pricked up as he heard a whistle, and he jumped as though he had sat on a thistle. He gave a bark, and he gave a yelp, and a happy whimper that he couldn't help. He ran so hard that he almost burst, but his tongue went ahead and got there first. He tumbled on Tim like a load of bricks, but his tongue was ahead of him and got first licks. And once again, in the twilight dim, it was him for Tim and Tim for him. So here's an answer you can employ if anybody asks you what's a boy. One boy is a snip and t'other's a snail, but this boy is a puppy dog's tail. The End This long, light-hearted poem about Spot the Dog looking for and asking every animal he meets about Tim the Boy. This is the book called A Boy is a Boy. It was written by Ogden Nash and the illustrations were done by Arthur Shillstone.